Love Talk Radio. Are you ready to take a bite out of the competition? Are you looking for ideas to make your business better? Welcome to the Core Business Show with Tim G.K. Sponsored by Apple Capital Group. At the core of every successful business, you'll find people making a difference. And with each episode of The Core Business Show, we talk with those people, examine those ideas, and explore the strategies that make them special. Now, the host of The Core Business Show, Tim Jacquet. Good morning and welcome to another edition of The Core Business Show. I'm Tim Jacquet, your host. Today, we're going to talk about 10 tips for Yeezy Fundraising with Memorial Bricks. A lot of churches, a lot of nonprofits like to spend time and try ways to get money out of donors. And when they building a building, some of the easiest way is to have something that's going to be a landmark that they can always come to. They can feel. They can't feel a building, but they can look at a brick. And every time they pass that threshold, they can see their name there that they contribute to something special. That's why here are some 10 tips for easy fundraising with Memorial Bricks. So, there are a lot of companies throughout the United States who will still do this art of engraving. I have some, some people that have taken inner city neighborhoods and made a nonprofit, got the property almost for nothing, and what they did is wrote a lease or donate it tax wise to the particular organization, and it became under the deed of the nonprofit organization. So, slowly, it depends on what type of organization you want to provide, this is a good step to get started with. First, look at your donor database. How will they contribute to your cause? Also, take nothing for granted. Don't assume people would donate without a good strategy. Okay. Number two, think about who are you targeting. 20% of your database to contribute may get only 5 or 10%. Look at your project. Look at the time you commit. Look at how much it's doing financially. Number the next item you want to take a look at is think about the best time to mail your request. Timing is everything. Is it at the like for example, we're mailing something out before Christmas. Well, usually you want to mail it at the beginning of the month or the mail, really at the middle of the month, not at the very top that it would drop on when all the bills occur at the beginning of the month, but it's gonna drop kinda of later in that week of that first week that people will start getting things. And they're getting something from you that you might take a look at. They might want to put something funny on the outside or write something on the outside of the envelope to get their attention. Number five, think of the best way to word it. Should you play on the sympathies or the empathy of a person, you know, who's going to do a brick for the life or they're doing it for their loved ones? Kind of keep that in mind as well. You want something that they're going to feel like they want to be a part of as a project and they want to be memorable about. Number six, the project chair will have to make time to maybe communicate and talk to people or get on the phone and call some people. Have some volunteers to share their time and energy on the project and to connect to whether your donor base is. Also, number seven, how much money should you raise? But kind of think of three letter, mean layers. Hey, this is nice if I get it. This is, oh my gosh, this is outstanding. So think of those three levels. Think of a bottom number that you really need to have, but make it realistic. Number eight, decide how much money that you want people to donate for a brick. So track the cost of the brick materials and then say, hey, this brick is going to cost $100 or this brick is going to cost $50 or this brick is going to cost $25. How much is it going to cost to imprint that brick as well? So kind of keep that in mind as well. And number nine, what about the donor level? Do you want different levels for different contributions? Kind of think of that as well. Do you want to honor some different levels, how to contribute, keep that part of that as well. Some options are brick placements of their different sizes, their different words on the brick, there's emblems, there's logos on bricks. And number 10, can you get the services donated? Does someone in the group know brick mason who can lay the bricks on the ground for you or who can actually take a portion of your building and do a like a backyard, back of the building, to do that you would have some patio events that you can actually run all your donors' names. And they can when you have parties or events in the backyard or whatever facility, they will see their names or if it's a hall or something. So keep that in mind as well. Again, those so you can take a look at it on our website, the Core Business Blog. Thank you all for listening. And again, that was 10 tips for easy fundraising with Memorial Breaks. Thank you for listening, everybody. I'm going to take a station break real quick and be back to close the show. 
You're listening to The Core Business Show, sponsored by Apple Capital Group. Apple Capital Group in Jacksonville, Florida, is a commercial lender that specializes in asset-based loans, equipment leasing and financing, invoice financing, commercial real estate loans, and asset-based financing in the U.S. and Canada. Apple Capital Group is a direct lender that lends on their private equity investment portfolio. 90% of most loans are decided within two hours, and vendor funding within 24 hours after documents are completed with a one-page application. No slow no's, just a quick decision and a fast yes. To get more information about lending from Apple Capital Group, call 866-611-7457. That's 866-611-7457 to speak with one of our loan specialists. Or visit us right now at applecapitalgroup.com. Welcome back to The Core. Once again, here's Tim Jacquet. Okay, we're going to close out the show. Again, you can find this article on the Core Business Show. Reach out to us via text or phone. Email us at infothecorebusinessshow.com if you have any questions or you want a copy of that particular article. Thank you all for listening. Take care. Have a great day. I'm Tim Jacquet, your host. Thank you for listening to the Core Business Show with Tim Jacquet. For a free quote on equipment leasing and financing, visit our website, applecapitalgroup.com. That's applecapitalgroup.com. And fill out the information to receive your free quote. We hope you'll join us for our next episode. And remember, you can always get to the core via iTunes. You'll find all our previous episodes there. Thanks again for listening to The Core Business Show with Tim Jacquet.